My name is Armin. I'm fourth generation Armenian genocide survivor. And today I lit this candle to remember over 1.5 million Armenians that were massacred, deported and tortured by Ottoman Empire 100 years ago. The Armenian Genocide, also known as the Armenian Holocaust, and traditionally by Armenians as Metzieren, is Ottoman government's systematic extermination of its minority Armenians within their historic homeland, which lies within the territory of the present-day Turkey. It was the first genocide of the 20th century. You know, in April we gathered to remember the Jewish Holocaust, we remember the Second World War, and the Armenian Genocide is very similar to Jewish Holocaust because both people follow an ancient religion. Both come from religious minorities from their respective states. Both have a history of persecution and both are very creative and talented people. When I was researching information on the Armenian Genocide, I found a very interesting quote from Hitler. When he was sending millions of Jews to the prisoner camp, he himself said, quote, who after all speaks of the annihilation of the Armenians? Now imagine how Jewish people would feel if the present-day German Republic itself said that there has never been any German-led genocide against the Jewish people. And then you will understand what Armenians and all, the, all of those people who sympathize with them feel about the Turkey, a state about to go through a hundred years of denial. I believe this type of tragedy can be prevented through education, an education that is impossible because of the denial. Today, there are between six to seven million Armenians alive. Less than half live in the Republic of Armenia and the rest live around the world. I was born in Armenia, but I grew up in Russia. I didn't know anything about Armenia or genocide. My mother chose to not enlighten me in the Armenian genocide history. I learned about it myself. And when I asked her why she never taught me anything about this, she said she didn't want me to know the sad story. She said, what would it teach to you? that such a huge crime happened and never got punished, not even recognized? The Armenian Genocide remains one of the greatest untold stories of 20th century. And today, Armenian people are still waiting for the recognition of the tragic event of 1915. There are about 20 countries that have accepted the Armenian Genocide and have recognized it. All I want as a member of my community is justice. I want the world to recognize the Armenian Genocide, recognize the suffering and pain of over 1.5 million people. A century after the tragic event of 1915, I question myself, how many centuries will it pass until we get the worldwide recognition? We, Armenian people, will never lose hope. You know, some people say that time heals all wounds. But as Ross Kennedy once said, I quote, Time heals all wounds. I do not agree. The wounds remain. In time, the mind, protecting its sanity, covers them with scar tissue and the pain lessens, but it is never gone. If you want to learn more about the Armenian Genocide history, please come to our Awareness Day at Jake's Mall. I hope to see you there. Thank you.